This is what happens to a banana when it sits out for three months. This is what happens when it sits in resin for three months. And this is what happened when it sits in resin for six months. That one's like had some leaks in it, so it's not a good representation. <laughs> yeah, it's a little gross. We're going to cut these open and see what they look like inside. But first, we get to watch a time lapse of these bananas rotting. Don't you love watching that? Yes, I love rotting time lapses. When a grape is dried, it's called a raisin. So what do you call a dry banana? I don't know, but there's never a dull moment with you, Neil. <laughs> Putting organic things in resin is a lot harder than I thought, but you can watch a few things that happened to me. Bonus content, we've got an apple. This has been in resin for probably two months. to have it float a little so it wouldn't touch the bottom, but I definitely overfilled it. What am I doing? Bananas like to make air, it would seem. This is quite problematic. This is how attempt number two turned out. I didn't even bother to finish covering it in resin because it was so bad already, so I just started with number three. For number three, we had a marvelous idea. Paint the banana in a layer of resin, then it won't be able to leak air everywhere. I stopped taking photos around four and a half months because nothing was changing, so I'll let this last photo represent the last few weeks. That was real neat to see that. Thanks, oh. Neil. Yeah. Look at the juice in there, that's gross. How do you think old banana juice tastes? Um, it's hard to describe, but it's not good. Uh, okay. Do you know what botulism tastes like? Uh, yes. Daniel, I brought you a spoon. Thanks. You can uh, join me in the taste test here. All right. Ah, yes. It's been reduced to nothing. Just like I thought. Huh? Dried, old? dried snake meat. Oh. This is the least old, so we're gonna start here. Ready? Oh. <laughs> Most of that's garnet. Ah, yes. Sandy banana. Get under it past where the garnet got to. That's, uh, that's gross. I mean, there's like garnet all the way back. Okay, I'm gonna try the other half, just to get you a taste here. I don't know if that's just garnet or just disgusting banana. Okay, Neil, I'm gonna get you a taste just from the center here. Uh, <laughs> uh. <laughs> Good? It tastes so bad. <laughs> 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 that's not. That's fermented or something. Like that. <laughs> Give it a smell. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so the dried up one, you can still kind of taste the banana flavor. Uh, this was just putrid. Like, <laughs> it real foul. So this one is next old, or this is the oldest. No, that's the oldest one. I mean, it honestly looks better. 
It still smells like the other one tasted. <laughs> oh, got, got it. Good thing my mouth was closed. Fun fact about bananas, uh, they don't do well in resin. Oh, right, that is a fun fact. Thanks for sharing. Fun fact about bananas, they're one of the few things in nature that are divided into three equal pieces. Oh, yeah. Palmer, brother, you have to try this. It tastes just like a normal banana. It's more like banana pudding. It's like sweeter. You ate that? Yeah, we both tried it. I smell it. Oh, wow. Get a little taste. <laughs> it's got a little bit of garnet in it. <laughs> it's not horrible, though. <laughs> Is it really? <laughs> it's like, not great, but it's not horrible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, I got a little chunk in that. That was nasty. I think maybe because the apple shrunk, it like has a bubble formed around it, and then it's like juice in this clear juice. It's a fushigi ball now. Fushigi! Uh, so we're gonna drill into it before we cut it in half to try to harvest the juice, so we can taste it and see if we'll get dr drunk. Get this in there, bro. Oh, did you hear that? Did you hear like the pressure coming out of it? I mean, it smells uh, appley. Palmer's about to be the f only human in history to have ever drink in the juice of an old apple in resin. Oh, oh it's on my pants, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, let me, let me smell the dang thing. Is it fermented? That wasn't enough to get any like hard taste. It just kind of tastes like apple. I don't know. Mitchell, you're failing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> There's all sorts of crap in that. That was disgusting. It's just apple bits. No, that was nasty. You know, it might actually be a little fermented. All right, you try it now. That's yours. No, try it. This is enough for you no, to finally no, get the flavor. No, no, try it. Try it. <laughs> It tastes like apple cider for the first three seconds, and then the aftertaste is like terrible diarrhea. <laughs> well, that's all there is. I guess we cut it with the water jet now. Here, it looks like the apple is tiny, and like there's like a half inch of space on each side. But I'm thinking it's one of those weird, like mind bending tricks, and really the apple is like big. My hypothesis is that it's like. My hypotenuse. My hypotenuse. I wish I were high on potnuse. Edit that out. <laughs> Sorry. Not funny. Sorry. My hypothesis is that it's like a millimeter of space, but it's just the air is playing Jedi. Fushigi! 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 Okay, how small is the apple? My hypothesis was correct. That was fresh as can be. So like all that juice that was in there was like not much juice at all. It's not tight in there. Oh. Oh, slip right out. It's like um, like a tech deck. Doing some hollies and a half bite. Ready for a big bite to be taken out of it. <laughs> yeah, that's fermented. <laughs> Confirmed. <laughs> I need a new mouth. Put your face behind it again. Ha ha, you have a small head. <laughs> it's actually funny how well that works. <laughs> you have a little head. No. Your head's inside an apple resin oh, fushigi. Man. Maybe that's how they made lenses back in the day. They just put an apples in resin? Yeah. This is kind of weird. It's been one day and they already look like this. So it's kind of like they were pre-rotted and the resin wasn't letting them rot. 